This is a big moment. You guys are gonna be the first people to see the all new Guggen HQ 2.0. First bass of 2023. Hell yeah, dude. Finally. Good morning, waiters. Take a gander at this. Most of you probably won't even recognize where I'm at right now because of how many changes have undergone these past couple of months here at this facility. By the way, before we continue, I must mention we are at the Guggen HQ right now and it looks a hell of a lot different. Our once, uh, <laughs> our once 20,000 square foot warehouse, which was used mostly for drinking, cooking, and filming crazy videos is now serving a little bit more of a purpose. We are turning this space into more of a fulfillment center. Granted, we'll probably do all those things as well, but we basically moved a lot of things around and I don't know if any Guggen has shown you guys or kept you up to date as to what's been going on at Guggen HQ and what that means for all of you who want to come by and, and stop and uh, and say what's up because it has been closed down for quite some time. Oh boy, here we go. I gotta type in the secret code real quick. This is a big moment. You guys are gonna be the first people to see the all new Guggen HQ 2.0, I believe. I don't think anyone's filmed this before. Uh, we gotta get through uh, this high security real quick. Just don't look at the code. One, two, three, six, seven, okay. <clears throat> you have to cut that out, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Dude, it looks so sick. Come on in, check this out. Wow, this is uh. Well, it's a lot different for sure. Take a gander at this. There's so much room for activities. This is truly what I had hoped this place to actually look like. Opposed to just being a small little retail space for you guys to come and purchase lures, it is now being built into more of a hangout spot, a place where you guys can come and visit, a place where we can host meetups every now and then and to meet some of you folks and just say, what's up? I wanna give a huge shout out to Wes and Worm who have been mostly the brains behind this project. What we've done, if you haven't been able to notice, is we took down the dividing wall between the old retail space and what it was kind of the office, where, like I said, we, we did a lot of hanging out and partying. It wasn't really much of an office, to be honest. And we brought it, we put a truck in here. There, there's a truck in here now. We've got a, a little hangout zone over here where there'll be a big TV. Some nice seats where you can pop a squat. Ooh, chill and uh, maybe watch some old AP Bassin clips. Good dial. <laughs> maybe watch Rob shoot a 50 cal. Woo! Or maybe, you know, watch me lose some giant smallmouth. No, it just came off. Things of, of that nature. Of course, it's still got a long ways to go, but you should have seen this place like last month. It was a, t a bit of a disaster. Um, but of course, you know, you'll still be able to come here and purchase lures, uh, but we wanted to make it more than that. We want to make it like an actual experience, someplace where you guys can go and enjoy and chill and like where it's actually comfortable opposed to where, you know, a lot of stores are just kind of like in and out type thing. Over here is going to be like a little bar section, which is cool. It's going to be the, the Guggen Pub. We've got this sweet sign that Worm made. It's uh, it's of all of our prototype rods that we've gone through and broken and tested and said either yay or nay with. And then we've got the backlit GS. Very cool, I believe this is gonna be kind of like a wet bar. There's gonna be a sink here. This is gonna be where y'all can kind of sit and drink some alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages. Check this out too. All the pictures that were originally hanging on the wall have been repurposed into this bar countertop. So some of you might actually recognize yourselves in these pictures. And I advocate if you come to the store once it's officially and finally open, bring some more pictures of your catches, whether they be a micro bluegill or a 13 pound bass. Anyway, I went here to mainly pick up some baits today, but I figured I'd, I'd turn the camera on and show you guys what the Guggen HQs look like because it has been closed down for quite some bit. And I know a lot of people are wondering when it's gonna be opened up again. And I know that's a million dollar question, which I unfortunately don't have an answer for you yet. We're still working on it and I think the reason why it's taking a little bit of time is because we want it to be perfect. And as you can tell, we're headed the right direction. What do you think, Gil? It's really cool. I'd like to point out the, the bathroom side. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is also I think Worm's idea as well. You've got the outboards and the inboards. <laughs> It's classic. <laughs> Before we head on out of here and get our fishing mission started for today, drop a comment. Let us know what you guys wanna see at the new Guggen HQ. It is not too late to put some ideas into fruition and make it happen. I, 
I'm excited for this. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to film here to start today's video. It's just gonna be so cool. I will definitely let you guys know on an exact or at least rough date as to when this is gonna be open because when it does open, I believe we're all gonna try to come down here and do some meetups, but I'd also like to come down here as well and just hang out with folks on maybe a random day. We'll do like a pop-up meetup or, or something like that. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be a good time though. And uh, I just want you guys' opinions and thoughts. What are some things we should add to the Guggen HQ? I mean, this is like a freaking fresh restart button. And I think we're headed in the right direction. It looks really good. Anyway, enough blabbering. It's so freaking early. We've got a, a quick little rip on down to Fort Worth. We're gonna pick up my buddy Kyle. Do this. Good to see you, on, man, buddy. It's Caleb. What's up? It's been a minute. Link up with him. Pick him up. Go head to one of my favorite lakes. Try not to get blown off the water, and see if we can film an epic fishing mission video for y'all at home. We out here. We're on the water, picking things up, trying to move as fast as we can. Got a special guest with me, the Kyle Borschatz. It's been a while. And it's been a minute. He's visiting, but in a couple weeks, he'll be visiting permanently. You're moving to Texas. Facts, I'm about to California, Texas. I can't wait. That Cali wave, that Cali wave continues. He's been coming down here for, I mean, what, two years now? Two or three years, yeah. You just fell in love with it, bro. Just fell in love with it. Oh, just, I mean. Got a girlfriend here, got the homies here. Got some bass, bro. Got some bass. Hopefully, we'll scrounge one of those up today. We're uh, we're on a, we're on a lake that holds some good memories. Actually, Kyle's biggest bass ever, I think. Right? Came yeah, out of this absolutely. lake, ate something. We did some night fishing about two years back, and it was a magical moment. Lots of bonding. It was the best spring ever. A little bit of tear shedding. Yeah, it was one of the best springs ever. Uh, the spring had sucked. But we're out here just kind of kicking and having fun. We figured to bring along you guys with film a little video. This lake has been closed for like a couple months now. And I guess they just opened it back up since the water levels come up. So I haven't fished here in over almost a year. I haven't fished here almost a year, and I haven't fished here in the summer because it was completely shut down. Although I did try, so it, it's going to be interesting. We're, we're either going to find some fish, or we're just going to have a good old, good fashion time. quality time on the water. You just can't beat it. Some brotherly bonding. You just can't beat it. Anyway, waiters, let's go crank them. See if we can figure them out and film an absolute heater for you guys. Good one. Not bad. Take him. Hell yeah, dude. Finally. Nice, dude. Climb in the boat. Keep him in the boat. Keep him in the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. There he goes. Finally, we got one. So you right up on the bank? Yeah. Nicely done. It only took, uh, what time is it? 10.30? Yeah, 10.30. About two hours for two that much. Two and a half hours for a three quarters of a pounder. We'll take it though. Hold it closer and it's three pounds. Yeah. Exaggerate a little bit. Yeah. We finally got one. The good part about that is we're not coming home empty handed and we're not getting skunked. And it's a decent little fish. You know, I haven't fished here in a year, so we're gonna have to figure them out today. Yeah, we spoke into existence. We were just saying that. Haven't even caught a small one. No, but, and we caught a small one. Yeah, it's about time. And on that note, I'm gonna switch to the crankbait. I know, that's what I think too. Yeah, no, it's not a bass boat. They're not fishing. Oh, I just got hit. There we go, I'm on, good one. Might need the net. Yeah, it feels big. Feels good. Feels good. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> it's a Drum. <laughs> it was a big one, it just wasn't a bass. <laughs> dude, he choked it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at that thing. <laughs> dude, dude, it absolutely choked it. Have you ever caught one of them on a lure? No. When I was a kid in Illinois, I used to catch them all the time on jigs. I don't remember the last time I caught one in Texas on a lure. Drum are kind of like a weird fish in Texas. Like people don't really like them. Actually, they've got this weird nickname. People call them Gasper Goo. Where they came up with that name, I have no idea. But if you take a look at them, the name is kind of fitting. They're basically like a freshwater drum. If you guys are familiar you know, with saltwater drum and black drum and things of that nature, they're very similar, but they're uh, predominant here in Texas. And believe it or not, they'll actually eat lures. Like they, they love crankbaits, they love jigs. It's weird. I mean, and it literally choked, choked it. it. Yeah, this, this fish absolutely engulfed. It doesn't even have a big mouth. 
No. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. They're ugly looking fish, but they fight pretty hard. I've caught them on jerk baits. It's been caught a bunch too. Is Has it? Oh yeah. Why didn't get the memo the first time? Hey man, thanks for coming down. We're actually out here for drum, but this is what we were targeting. Yeah. We were targeting. <laughs> My PB drum. Let's go. Put it there, dude. It's actually pretty big. Yeah, it's hype. We'll take it. I mean, bite to bite, right? At this point, yeah. Thanks, you stinky drum. Such weird fish, and they eat lures. I don't know. What, I wonder if you can actually target them. It'd be kind of fun if you could actually target drum on lures. I think more people would actually be inclined to. Oh, chasing I mean, them for it, sure and they get they get to like 20 yeah, 30 pounds play. they get huge well it's something too slow buddy too slow this guy's chasing he wants it there we go there we go on the a rig I didn't feel too small. It feels pretty big, honestly. I think he's hooked funny. Oh, Jesus. It's a white bass. Had him hooked funny. He's a little white bass. Man, today's like a multi-species day. Yeah, we... I just taco to white bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, all we need is a nice catfish and maybe, maybe we'll hit the bank later today for some carp. I'm all for it. Epic stuff, boys. Epic stuff. Wow, he absolutely mutilated my A-Rig too. My lord. Well, typical day on the water with me, catching everything but the target fish and that is big bass. Not a great, not an amazing start to 2023, but as I always say, you should walk before you run. Makes that, makes that moment which you prevail that much sweeter. <sighs> what the It's like some weird frequency that fish hate. <laughs> yeah, so it's just coming off my motor. Literally pushing it like I have a 100 yard radius around my boat where there's no fish. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a little large one. Speak of the devil. It's a decent little busy. He ate on the way up. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. I got it. There we go. Wow. Boys, it's getting sporty out here. It's about time. But I got my first large mouth of the day. Nothing crazy, but a nice little plump two pounder, maybe close to three. I was just joking how I suspect that there's a hundred yard radius around my boat where there's no fish. And this guy literally proved me wrong. Decent little busy, nothing crazy, but a nice one on the crankbait. This lake is uh, kind of kicking her ass, but I'm on the board. I finally caught something other than a gas perdue and a white bass. That's a large mouth, beautiful fish. I will say, when you do catch fish in here, they are absolutely freaking perfect. Nice little butterball. I'm gonna send them back. Beautiful winter large mouth. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. First bass of 2023. Thank you, dude. See you later. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's. Yeah, big chat. I actually don't think look at that. That's no way. <laughs> Holy sh**, you actually got a shad. No, no it's not a that? shad. Is this smelt? That's what it looks like. Oh, I just snagged this little thing. I'm on like a multi-species grind right now. I just snagged this thing with my jerk bait. And I originally thought it was a shad, but it's not a shad. I think it's an emerald shiner. I could be wrong. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think this thing is. Not really the common forage down here in Texas. It might be something somewhat uncommon but i'm not really sure i've never seen something like this down south i think it's an emerald shiner but i don't know suspicious Just get some. <laughs> that'd be the f***ing icy a little bit before you moved down here officially. Yes, sir. This is Kyle's last day as a visitor here in Texas. Pretty soon he's gonna be living here. I apologize for the wind, it's probably so bad. I'm gonna try to get behind my truck. Oh my God! Okay, okay. Uh, just typical Texas being windy as I gotta grab that now. I'm over here littering. Oh, I got you, buddy. Oof. Oh, sweet, in the truck. 
There's no wind, but it's dark as hell. There we go, a little better. Well, wieners, that's yet another day we sit front seat on the struggle bus. It's okay though. I see some good fishing on the horizon. For whatever reason, I've just been cursed these past couple of trips, and I'm hoping in the next video that we film, bass fishing at least, will break that curse. Still had fun, always great hanging out with Kyle, and of course Caleb too. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I wanted to film a little kickback bass fishing vlog for y'all. Wanted to also keep in the loop as to what's been going on over at the Guggen HQ, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to film today, is just update you guys on that matter, and then also, as a side portion, or I guess in some cases the main course, do some bass fishing. Unfortunately, we didn't really crank them, but we did get our first fish of 2023. That's huge, that's big, it was not a bad one. But we got some pretty awesome trips planned for the new year. I'm very excited. We're gonna be doing some stuff out of the country. We're also gonna be doing some crazy bass fishing and just fishing in general, missions here in the United States, traveling to places that I've never been before, stepping outside of the comfort zone. I'm very stoked. I hope you guys had an amazing new year, an awesome holiday, and a great Christmas. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. <laughs>